Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Vendetta. Starring Bruce Willis. This is a request by request. Someone in the comments asked me to look at this movie. I'm happy to look at a Bruce Willis movie. There's not going to be... You know, they're ending. You know, he was in a bunch of movies. Now he's got aphasia and he's retiring. Um, sadly, I hope I hope he has a nice retirement. I hope the aphasia doesn't just keep getting progressive. But I have a feeling it will. Uh, hopefully there'll be some treatment someday. But we can still see Bruce do Bruce's thing. He's a bad guy in this. It's called Vendetta. And Bruce plays like a mafia boss type character. Not normal for him. Normally he's the hero. Uh, what's his face from Sons of Anarchy? Is like his his second in command or best lieutenant. And this is uh, Bruce's son. So um, they're going out doing bad things. This guy, who's a Marine, is out on a day with his daughter. Picks her up from softball practice. And uh, uh, they end up shooting the daughter and killing her. The son gets off. That's the son. Bruce Willis spends the money, gets him off for murder. Uh, even though he's an irresponsible little jerk. The ex-Marine goes to a buddy who's got guns, to, played by Thomas Jane. So Thomas Jane is in this. I'm not familiar with him, but just about everybody else in this movie. So he gets a gun, and he goes and hunts down the little punk. He hits him with his car, and then he kills him with a baseball bat. Brutal. Uh, but you can understand, the guy killed his daughter. So then, of course, it's vendetta time. His friend is dead. Bruce Willis's son is dead. And now they're going after the Marine who did this. And he ain't taking it lying down. They try to kill him. He kills their guys. They start sending in more guys. He goes to get more guns. He goes after his organization. You've, you've heard this before, but this looks cool. This looks cool as F. And, uh, and guess who else is in this movie? There's no justice. Uh, take a wild guess who else is in this movie. So you got Thomas Jane, the Punisher. You got Bruce Willis. Okay, he's coming. He's coming up soon. There's a big car chase. And he goes to Mike Tyson, who plays a... I don't know, he runs a chop shop or something. <laughs> he has to, like... He's running away from the gangsters, and he goes to Mike's... Uh, situation they all like gear up with guns and then there's a big shootout so this looks this looks like some slamming action Theo Rossi that's the name of the dude from Sons of Anarchy Thomas Jane as a gun runner Mike Tyson Bruce Willis I mean come on this is gonna be awesome this is gonna be awesome uh, Vendetta all right let's see who made this thing oh come on come on YouTube Oh, yeah, damn, you blocked the credits. Directed by, looks like Jared Cohn, and written by Jared Cohn. Okay, so I figured it out without, without this. YouTube, hate this, hate this. Clive Standen is the lead. Um, with Thomas, <coughs> easy, with Thomas Jane and Bruce Willis. Meaning that he, they are, hey, easy. And probably with Mike Tyson behind here too, right? So, with Thomas Jane, Bruce Willis, and Mike Tyson. So they're not, like, they're in the movie, but they're not, like, in the movie a lot. It's mostly this guy, Clive, who plays the Marine, who I've never heard of, but he looks fine in this. He looks right for it. I mean, he's, oh, boy, Mike Tyson being in it, though. Come on. Come on. That'll be fun. Hey. Shut up. I got the window open. That's why she's getting mouthy. Getting mouthy. Um... So yeah, I'm all about this. I'm all about this movie. That'll be a fun uh, revenge flick. Bruce Willis as the bad guy. You don't get to see him do bad guy roles that much. You know, I mean, I'd rather see him as the hero, but, I, I, you know, the older actors, they tend to take those kinds of roles after they've been leading man, right? Because it's a younger guy. I mean, Clive isn't that young, but he, I, I assume he's younger than Bruce Willis. But, you know, Bruce Willis, hey, shaving his head, that was the best thing he ever did, right? I mean, that sort of extended his youthfulness for a long time. 
for a long time, you know. And uh, Mike Tyson looking a little grizzled with the beard. Looking a little grizzled. But that's cool. He's got the hoodie on and the, he's got, got showing his arms off. So uh, that's kind of cool. Mike Tyson's in it. He's in another movie where he was the lead. That one looked funny as hell because I don't know if Mike could carry a whole movie by himself. I'll tell you, though, he was very funny in the Mike Tyson Mysteries, the cartoon. It was one of the funniest shows ever. I mean, I think in a com I think he's better suited for comedy just because he's Mike Tyson. He's got such a big personality. You know, I mean, he can... I don't know, maybe his acting's better. I mean, it takes a while to become an actor if you're not, you know, classically trained. So, you know, he 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 seems to be moving up in terms of the actor's rank, not just playing himself anymore. So this, this is a part I think he can pull off because he's a tough guy, right? And he was a tough guy. So it's not much of a stretch for him to be the head tough guy of a of a gang of car dudes, right? Hey, he could do that. You know, you know, he may not have the range. Now, Thomas Jane, he's got a little more of a range. Played the Punisher. I didn't think the Punisher was that great of a movie that he was in, but kind of, a lot of that wasn't his fault. A lot of it, I think, falls on John Travolta, who I think was kind of miscast in that movie. It's weird seeing him in that movie, but what are you going to do? Uh, and Bruce Willis is always solid. So, yeah, I think this will be worth moving. Vendetta. Um, do we have a do we have an opening date on this movie? I don't think we do. No. Uh, let's see if it says down here. No. You always got to put that in, damn it. So this is coming out soon. Uh, thanks for the tipster out there who gave me the suggestion. Who was it, by the way? Shadow Dancer. Shadow Dancer. Thank you, Shadow Dancer. And feel free to send in your request. Uh, if you'd like me to review a particular trailer or whatnot, don't get too crazy with it. But, you know, I'll take a request now and again. So I'll do two requests today. Um, the three-act breakdown of this movie, generally, this is going to be pretty straightforward, right? The first act is um, the uh, uh, from Red Box Entertainment. The first act is going to be the setup with the, the criminals and Bruce Willis's sons. Uh, son and, and uh, Theo Rossi. And then... Uh, it's going to be his daughter gets killed, they have the court trial, and he gets off. And that's basically the whole first act. And then he he decides, that's it, I'm getting revenge. So he goes to his friend Thomas Jane, who's a gun dealer, buys a gun, hunts this maniac down, and kills him with a baseball bat. Then Theo Rossi sees that his friend is dead, goes back to Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis says, kill him. Tries to kill him don't work because he's a marine and uh he starts killing their guys and it, and it becomes a war it becomes a war there's a scene out on the street where he's shooting a guy guy there is no justice then he arms up uh with a sniper rifle at some point there's theo yelling at his underlings uh and then the car chase that goes to mike tyson's place and uh finally the shootout at the end so it looks you know the, the, the third act is going to be a big shootout, right? First act is going to be the setup. The second act is going to be the back and forth between the gang and uh, uh, Bruce Willis trying to get his revenge and the father trying to get his revenge. I think in the end, Clive will get the revenge. Bruce Willis will die. Theo will die. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe Clive dies too. Maybe everybody dies at the end, you know, sending a message like, you know, revenge, this is what want to get you but I think Mike Tyson's living I think he's gonna live <laughs> I don't think they want to do a death scene with Mike Tyson anyhow that's it for me Tony D and Little Joan check us out on Odyssey BitChute and Rumble for more base takes including a Hollywood cop take and a news blast this Saturday I'll be at the uh, Jersey Devil Film Festival uh, Fable Fest Film Festival it starts on Friday I won't be there on Friday that's when they're showing the movies most of them and then on Saturday is a big uh, vendor day and uh, a few movies is my understanding so uh, come up to Asbury Park New Jersey yeah it's gonna be a fun time hope to see you there and we'll see you in the next one